Hello, everyone. Uh, this session is basically to tell you about the maths art integrated project that we have to do, right? So you know that it is mandatory for class 10 students to do this project uh, for getting the admit cards. And this project is valid actually for uh, classes 6 to 10 because they have to do a maths art integrated project. And uh, uh, the Delhi students have to basically do it uh, by pairing it with uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands or Lakshwadeep. Okay, these are the two choices. Earlier it was Sikkim and this year under the EBSP, that is Ek Bharat Shreshd Bharat, uh, every state or every place is given a paired state. So what is happening is that the students from Delhi have to pair it with either Andamans and Nicobar or you have to uh, pair it with Lakshwadeep. So that is why this... Uh, project has to be assigned and it has to be integrated with any art form of your paired place. So I'm going to explain how this uh, project has to be done so that it's easier for the teachers to guide the students and is also uh, useful for the students to listen to this and do the project. Your teachers must have already explained to you what has to be done. But in spite of that, when there is confusion, it becomes easy for you to listen to this video and understand what has to be done. Right. So this project uh, uh, is coming under subject enrichment and it carries five marks. So it's mandatory and especially for class 10 students mandatory for the other classes, uh, six to nine, this can be given as a project and five marks can be allotted for uh, subject enrichment in this. So our project title is going to be urban versus island. Why? Because uh, we consider Delhi as an urban place and we are comparing with Andamans or for that matter, Lakshwadeep, which will be an island, right? Because both of them are uh, surrounded by water, right? They are islands. So we are giving a project, a title, and this project should be about roughly eight to 10 pages. And you need to uh, make a separate file or uh, you can do it in your practical files as per the instructions of your uh, maths teacher. So project title is urban versus island. So mathematical perspective, I'm sure the same topic is being given by different subjects. So we are going to do the mathematics part of it. Then the aim we'll write down, the aim is the project aims to explore the mathematical aspects of urban life in Delhi and the island life in Andaman. So we are comparing the life in urban place like Delhi and we are comparing with an island place in Andamans through various mathematical concepts. So what are we going to do? We are going to make use of statistics. We are going to collect a lot of data uh, like temperature, rainfall, population, climate, tourism, pollution levels, you know, so many things are there which is differing and there are also similarities. So we are going to do that and the students will analyze and compare the two regions. And then visually we have to statistically represent this in the form of bar graph, pie chart, histogram, line graphs, frequency polygon, different, different ways. Statistically, we can uh, make use of this. So I'll uh, try to explain this, uh, the whole project how it has to be done, right? So this is the aim. Uh, this is the aim of the project, uh, exploring the mathematical aspects of urban life in, in Delhi and the island life in Andamans, right? So the introduction will be there. The what, what is the introduction to this project? We are going to introduce Delhi, the urban uh, place, and Andamans in the island setting. So we need to introduce, we need to give a brief description about the two places, that is regarding the culture, the dance form, the handicraft that you use, the geographical position, the economic differences, etc. We need to come uh, make into two columns or you can write for Delhi first and Andamans later or vice versa. So we need to give an introduction about the place so that exactly the project gets a starting point. The introduction is important that both the places are described in let's say about 100 to 200 words. You can describe the main aspects of the population, the location, the, the the dance forms, the handicrafts, etc. So that we come to know exactly what is happening in the two places. So that's that. The next step is to collect the data. Now, where are we going to get uh, the data from? You can use Google and uh, Wikipedia or you have books that, that is dealing with these two places. You can collect data from that. So collecting data regarding to both Delhi as well as the uh, uh, Andamans. So we, you, you can collect information, as I said, about temperature, rainfall, the transportation, the flora and fauna, the, you know, that means the, 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 the kind of trees, the kind of flowers that grow there, the animals that are there, what is the pollution levels, tourisms uh, in different months. So all these statistics we have to collect. And as I told you, this can be collected from any source. 
that you have. You can use Google Bard, you can use ChatGPT, you can use any AI apps, you can do a Google search. Uh, so all this information can be collected. Okay, so select about three, four things about uh, both the places and then we are going to compare it, right? So once we collect the data, now we are going to use statistical methods uh, to analyze and compare the data. So once we collect the data, we write it down somewhere or take screenshots. If you're if you're searching all this on a computer, you can take printouts. And then what are we going to do? We are going to make bar graphs, histogram, pie charts, line graphs. All this you have done right in the lower classes. So you know how to do it. So depending on which class is doing. So maybe in class seven, eight level, uh, you have done pie charts, you have done histograms and bar chart, bar graphs. So you can do that. And line graphs also you have done. Maybe the when you are in the 10th stage, you can introduce more to frequency polygons, which also has been done in ninth. Actually, ninth and 10th students can do all form of statistical uh, graphs. Uh, six, seven uh, may not be able to do all, but whatever they have learned in the classes, uh, histogram, bar graph or whatever, they can represent that data using that. So I'll be showing you some examples of how to do it. Uh, so uh, you will get a clear idea of what has to be done. So first of all, we are going to uh, explore the, the landscape of the two places, the city layouts. Okay, so what is the city layout, the building structure, uh, the natural formations in Andamans, if you see. So that's, you see the picture of the cellular jail there. So the architecture is totally different if you compare it to a city like Delhi. So uh, uh, we can compare these and uh, then we need to measure and calculate the area distance volume relevant to both regions. So the relevance is important to both the regions. So uh, as again, I'm telling you, Delhi is paired with Andaman and Nicobar or Lakshadweep. So the student has to be compulsorily doing an art integration project in this. Now, if you look at the landscape of Andamans and Delhi, it's totally different. Uh, as I'm again repeating, the I, one is an island nation and one is an urban place. So our project has to bring the difference cl uh, clearly in terms of the statistics that we are doing, right? So uh, we can paste some pictures to make it interesting. So uh, you can collect a lot of pictures of Lakshadweep and that also can be placed uh, along with your uh, project that can be pasted along with your project or in your project, in your project files and so on. So uh, it's uh, the location is important. The Andaman Islands is located in the Bay of Bengal, right? The Andamans is located in the Bay of Bengal. And if you look at the position with respect to uh, that, I'll be showing you that map. This is a picture of the traditional dance and music form. So this, when you are giving the introduction of the place, all this is important. We can, because we, the idea of this project is that we are learning about another culture, right? So you can um, stick these pictures. What are the instruments that they use? What are the dance styles uh, that is uh, prevalent there? Uh, what type of handicrafts they use? So this is some pictures that I have collected and uh, some dance forms which they are having. So although there is no mathematics involved in it, but it's still a learning experience and makes our project a little more creative. The idea of the government is that we learn more about that place, isn't it? So that purpose also should get fulfilled. So uh, a little bit of uh, introduction. So this is what I was talking about. If you look at the Andamans, it's in the Bay of Bengal. It's in the Bay of Bengal. So Andamans see the position with respect to Indian map. So Bay of Bengal is here and Andaman Nicobar Islands is a very, you know, a very minute uh, island here in the Bay of Bengal. So this is the positioning. So if you're doing something in geography, this map and the positioning becomes important. Uh, although we should know this uh, because the geographic location is very important, uh, even for mathematical purposes when we are comparing, let's say, distances from one place to the other. So if you, on the other hand, if I talk about Lakshadweep, it is about... Uh, 40 kilometers from Kochi in Kerala. So, and it's in the Arabian Sea. So, if you talk about Andamans, that's in the Bay of Bengal. And if you talk about Lakshwadeep, that is in the Arabian Sea. Okay. So, the position is here. So, this is the position of Lakshwadeep Islands. And here we find that it is in the Arabian Sea. Okay. So, the positioning is very clear. Uh, there is no confusion. And the project title and aim I have already explained to you. 
right so this is the wood carvings now when you are drawing this statistical graphs you are drawing bar graph pie chart please try to decorate it using some handicraft that is famous in andamans because when we are talking about art integration we are pro putting a project we are also putting some pictures we are also decorating our charts that we have made with uh, uh, special andaman art so it could be handicraft it could be wood carvings it could be you know shell craft so they are very famous for shells because it's an island nation lot of shells are there so they make a lot of decoration with shells so uh, all this can be used to decorate your files and also the statistical information that you are collecting and the graphs can be decorated using shells or printouts of all these pictures can be used and it can be pasted appropriately in these graphs to make the, make your project beautiful and meaningful right so this is cane and bamboo craft again these all can be used to decorate so we are using art integration of the art forms that exist in andamans and doing this project of course we are using a lot of statistical comparisons but at the same time integrating art of that particular place to decorate and to make our project more meaningful and we are also in the process learning more about andamans so here i have given some examples of shell here this was bamboo craft so all these you can use this is cane and bamboo craft uh, which is an important part of their economy this is again baskets made on palm leaves so if you are getting access to palm leaves and coconut leaves that can be used uh, in your project and this is again pottery pottery articles they are uh, they have various techniques uh, traditional techniques with intricate patterns and designs and uh, there are a lot of artists uh, who are into uh, pottery so the project components uh, we as i said there has to be uh, a lot of similarities and differences so both project components we have to uh, give an overview a description has to be there and we have to collect the data and the statistical part the statistical part is i told you bar graph histogram pie chart all this and uh, this is again i have already told you about this now we come to calculation and measurements calculation and measurements so we can compare the area geographically and compare it uh, compare the geographical area of delhi as compared to andamans uh, area distances volumes relevant to both regions so if you find that you know so much amount of uh, green area is there the population is there or uh, you can compare the number of animals or particular species of plants all that can be done i am leaving that to your imagination of what all you can compare because there are a lot of items there are hundreds of things which can be compared what you find uh, uh, interesting you can do a comparison on that the finance can be compared so what is the economic activities that the people are engaged in that can be done the cost of living of the two places what is the expenses so something is costing let's say 10 rupees here what is will be the cost there so you can do a comparison of price cost of living is basically how much do you have to spend in a month for you know an average family so what is the cost of living uh, there is a cost of living index for that there is a proper calculation but you can do a research and find out all this and economic aspects how much are they generating what is their main source of income is it from fishing it may be fishing there or some bamboo craft there but that may not be the case in delhi it may be industries or some other things so you will have, you can do a comparison on the finance okay i'm just suggesting what all can be compared and this is art integration you can see a pie chart there and uh, you can see a, a histogram and a, uh, you can also see a bar graph so uh, all the data that we are going to collect we are going to represent that we also see a line graph there so all this data can be represented like this so you can choose multiple methods and as i said decorate all this using shells or uh, bamboo or palm or coconut leaves or any thing that you can associate with andamans so that the project becomes art integrated so here i have just collected some data and plotted a graph uh, or this is comparison of the temperature of different months so march april may june uh, we have compared the temperature of delhi and andamans so andamans is relatively cooler as compared to delhi so this is a Uh, double bar graph where we are comparing uh, andamans temperature uh, with delhi so we can do a comparison of temperature rainfall as i said humidity plant any comparisons can be done and i have shown an example of a double bar graph but this can be done in multiple ways okay 
So you can draw a pie chart, uh, let's say uh, the economic activities that people are involved in Andamans. One pie chart for Andamans and one pie chart separately you can draw for Delhi. Similarly, we can uh, do, let's say, um, if you are doing the flora and fauna, what are the type of animals and birds found in Andamans mainly? And what are the birds and animals uh, that are found in Delhi? So you can draw pie charts on this and do this. So this is the graph that you see on your screen is basically a comparison of the temperature. So another one that I can show you is, uh, yeah. So this is again tribal painting. This All these paintings that uh, you, you can take printouts of this. Uh, it's very, if you are a good artist, definitely you can make it. Uh, there are many, many good artists in the class. They can definitely try to make this and decorate these graphs. So you have already made the graphs here. So this, uh, all this, uh, bar graph, pie chart, whatever you are making can be decorated using tribal painting, handicrafts, shells, bamboo and cane work, palm leaves, coconut leaves, all this can be used. I leave that to the imagination of the students. And uh, the teachers can definitely give you ideas, but ultimately uh, you will have to do it. So this is the uh, painting. So if you can do it, well and good. Otherwise, uh, you can take print of this and do the pasting uh, on the bar graphs or histograph that you're making. So again, some examples of shell jewelry. These are all examples to make your project art integrated. Okay, The mathematical part is, of course, the statistics and the plotting of the graphs. But the art integration will come in incorporating their art forms and uh, putting it in the graphs. So this is uh, another uh, one that I have drawn. This is the comparison of rainfall between Andamans and Delhi. So here, if you see the Andamans rainfall is much higher as compared to Delhi. So this I've made a line graph. So uh, you have to think of different ways by which we can do it. And this is a line graph. The previous one I had shown uh, comparison of temperature, Andamans and Delhi. Here, this is a graph that I have plotted uh, to compare the rainfall in different months uh, between Delhi and Andamans. Then geometric art, uh, you can use different shapes and patterns inspired by architecture of Delhi and the natural beauty of Andamans to create artwork. This you can use your own imagination that what are the patterns that you find in Delhi, the monuments that you find in Delhi. The uh, We have uh, so many important monuments here. What is the architectural style used there? And what is the architectural style of Andamans? So shapes and patterns, geometric. Uh, this is where geometry comes in. So... Uh, you know, you have different types of uh, architecture. You have the European style, you have the Mughal art, you have uh, the European style. So, you know, different, different styles are there. So try to find out the shapes and patterns of the two places and that can be used. Uh, and uh, you can create beautiful geometric art. You can use your own imagination and probably uh, build some shape and patterns which will be relevant to the two places. That will be very creative. Okay, this is, you are building something in Delhi. This is how the pattern will be. And you're building something in Andaman. This is how the pattern will be. So you can uh, try to do that. Then in the end, uh, we are going to conclude by uh, reflecting on the findings. So collection is one thing, representation is one thing. So what is our conclusion? You need to uh, summarize the whole project by saying that this is what I did. This was the rainfall. This was the population. This was what people do. This is the cost of living index. Uh, this is the financial aspects of the two places and you're going to summarize and analyze it. And the, of course, the artistic creations, you are most welcome to be as creative as possible and uh, put in as many art forms of the place. That that actually makes the project more meaningful. And uh, we have how we are going to integrate art and maths is actually the most important thing. The mathematical part I told you is the statistical part. And the art is basically comparison uh, in, in not only the differences, but also the similarities in the life. And then you are going to explore the different art forms, the dance forms, the, you know, the bamboo art, the shell jewelry that I have shown, all this. So uh, all that can be incorporated in the project. So I hope that this is uh, clear and you will be able to generate a very good report. So as I said, the report should be about uh, eight to 10 pages. And uh, all this from aim to conclusion should be built beautifully, narratively. So you should have a lot of pictures, 
uh, it should have uh, a lot of graphs it should have a lot of uh, inter this uh, about the comparison of the two places and uh, this project can has to be submitted especially for students of class 10 uh, who will be giving the board exams because unless we submit this the admit card is not released right so we have to upload this so this has to be done in the uh, project file or practical file as per the instructions of the teacher and uh, once you complete this uh, then the subject enrichment marks can be given for this. And for the remaining classes of 6 to 9, where the art integration project, then you can add 5 marks in the subject enrichment. So I hope this is clear. And uh, if there are any questions, you can uh, ask me at that point of time, or you can ask me. Uh, I will be happy to answer that. Thank you.